Hey YouTube, Red Apple One Five here, bringing you another Duel Links video, and also here to have a little bit of PvP fun and to let you know what's currently going on in the world of Duel Links here on this Christmas Eve. Now, anyway, let's go over, hop into the game, and see what's going on in the world of Duel Links. Okay, so right now in the game we have a PvP event going on right now called Duel Carnival. If you don't know what Dual Carnival is, it's basically a PvP event where basically Leo and Luna from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds um, put take two monsters with a certain theme and basically you choose what side you're going to be on and you compete against other players to make sure your team wins. And through the weeks that this has been going on, the first round it was Evil Swarm Salamanders versus Babysaurus. I was team Babysaurus on this week, we won which gave us some extra chests and some gems along the way and some of the prize cards as part of this event. Round two was basically Natria Beetle and Natura Butterfly. Natura Butterfly. And I was team Natura Beetle and as you see we lost but hey, congratulations to Natria Butterfly players. And this week until the 24th, well, well actually until tomorrow, <laughs> Well, the, today when this video is uploaded, uh, basically Bujin Yamata and Gladiator Beast Ando is the current um, teams that's in the Dual Confu event. And right now I am Team Bujin, as you can see. And also the added switch to this game mode here is that the theme for this week was Beast Warriors. So if you're playing a Beast Warrior focused deck, their attack point is actually higher than normal. Now the only reason I'm hyping up this event right now is because there are some prize cards that I don't, you don't really need to farm for. I don't even suggest farming for them. But it'll be a fun gimmick deck. You can go check out Playmaker, well Duel Link Playmaker's video. Cause he literally made a deck over this, arc well yeah, made a video over this archetype and him getting some W's against the meta. But in short, this deck belongs to um, Hunter Pace. I should have a picture of him on the screen here to my left or my right. But Hunter Pace was a character that used to be the champion in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 Ds. But, um, not exactly, I was about to say Kite, but I'll get to Kite in a minute. Um, Jack Atlas, Jack Atlas basically made um, Hunter Pace take that big girl and Jack became a new king. And in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, if you don't know, if you can't duel, then you pretty much consider trash. And Hunter Pace became instantly broke, lost all his money, lost his wife, lost everything. He just, everything just went bad for him after that duel. But to the, his archetype, the Burning Skull Heads. Basically, this is a monster where when this card is special summon from your hand, you can inflict 5 points of damage to your opponent. Then you can remove from play this face of card you control and return one remove from play scroll flame to the owner's hand. To the owner's graveyard. So yeah, basically they recycle each other. They bring each other back into the graveyard and they also inflict 500 points of damage. And just so I don't have to tell you that's what they're supposed to affect, this is a burn deck. Okay, and then the next step up from that will be Skull Flame, whose effect is once per turn you can select one burning skull head from your hand. You cannot conduct your battle phase the turn you activate this effect. You can have one burning skull head from your graveyard to your hand instead of conducting your normal draw phase. So basically, he recycles the burning skull heads so you can keep doing their effect. So now you see there's some synergy with these cards. So he lets you keep on spamming their burn effects, basically. And then the main thing you want to farm for if you are planning to try this deck out after going to go check out Playmaker's video will be Supersonic Skull Flame. And that's my friend talking because they in a dual room right now. Uh, Supersonic Skull Flame. This card cannot be normally summoned in set. This card can only be first summoned by removing from the play one Skull Flame from your graveyard. Once per turn, you can inflict 200 points of damage to your opponent for each burning skull head in your graveyard. When this card is sent from the field to graveyard, you can spell summon one skull flame from your graveyard. And that's where this card confused me with its effect, just because it's like, to even go into him, you have to banish him. So basically, the game will allow you to get the other form back into the graveyard somehow, because 
This guy only recycles himself. He doesn't recycle. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. This does recycle him. Okay, so there is some synergy there. Okay, but yeah. That is basically what the deck does. And I need to really stop reading <laughs> their message real quick. But yeah, those are the main prize cards. And also, like I was saying earlier, Kite. He's not available to actually unlock in Dueling at the moment. Most likely he'll be available in January or February, which is why I'm starting to save up gems because I know most likely Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon will be a part of its own box. So, but right now, while he's walking around Dual World, because he is in my world currently, the cards that you can actually get from him by battling him is number 10 of Lumen Knight. So if you collected the number monsters, you can get this number right here, which takes three level four monsters. Once per turn, you can detach one XC material from this card and send one card from your hand to the graveyard. And if you do, draw one card. And then the other card you can get to work towards his photon deck, which most likely will be in that Galaxy Eyes box that I mentioned, is if this card attacks, it is changed to the pitch position at the end of the damage step. But those are the main prize cards. Then you got cards like Guardian of Order, which I used to run in my Light Sworn deck for like um, basically another way if I kept milling so many monsters. Like he was a alternative if I lost my Judgment Dragon, etc. But his effect is if you control two or more light monsters, you can spell summon this card from your hand. You only use control one Guardian of Order. So like i was saying i used to run this card in most of the older Yu-Gi-Oh games like legacy millennium duels i believe and other ones where basically um i would summon lumina use her effect summon raiden use his effect spell something to the field and then go ahead and go to the synchro play but anyway that's what's going on in the world of duel links oh and one more thing because this popped up while i was actually looking well actually logging into the game So it didn't register. But the Dual Chronicle 5Ds event, Attack of the Dark Signers, is coming back around. And last time we got Majestic Star Dragon. This time we get the shot at Majestic Red Dragon. So if you're looking for that card, hey, play the event. And once again, there will be an exclusive skill for Yusei and Jack in this event. So on, oh, this event will be available Christmas Day. So if you have free time, go ahead and farm for it. If not, Wait until the day after Christmas. But anyway, what I was going to do for this video after updating you on the news from the video I recorded last week, but now it's kind of out of date. But what I'm trying to bring the news on is actually play a few matches of this to show how this event works. And for this Christmas Eve, I was going to play with my buddy Red Hot because it's been a while since I played the deck. So let's go ahead, find an opponent, and play Red Hot. Alright, so we got electric here. They playing Yami Yugi. Let's see what kind of deck they're gonna be playing. Oh cool, we're going second. I prefer to go second when I'm playing red eye. Huh? Is it really you? It's could have been better. Here I go. Let's see what we get here. Okay, so we're going against Noble Knights, which is that's actually a deck build I'm actually planning to do with Red Eyes or Gladiator Beast, not Gladiator Beast, but Noble Knight Red Eyes. Because I think that will work with how Slash play with Crypt spells or well, Crypt cards in general. Trying to think of a play here because right now this hand is kind of a brick. The only benefit that we got here is that we'll be able to search out Slash. My turn is done. My turn. 
Yeah, but now slash doesn't matter because of that thing. So Sorry, the game just instantly made a 360 when we got that. So just in case if we do get screwed over, I am going to go ahead and mill the wyvern just in case things go wrong. Stretch the red eyes fusion. Activate the red eyes fusion. I'm gonna fusion summon red eyes with this. I activate the spell card, red eyes fusion. We're gonna send a red eyes on our deck and gear free. Now granted, I should have waited. Because since I activated Red Eyes Fusion, I cannot use this card's effect. Yeah, I was right about that. So let me see. Do you protect? Well that's what I'm trying to remember right now. Yeah, so that protects, so there's kind of no point. I have to kind of just chill this turn. There's no point in me going aggro. Because thinking about it right now, there's kind of no way for me to win the, unless I draw something really good right now. Just because Red Eyes Fusion's little restriction of we cannot normal summon, well, we can't summon. Ah, got the one that I didn't want to get. Oh no, he did. I would have waited for that one. And now you can go into the rank five noble knight. Yeah, he gets all those back and they all equip to him. I activate an spell. And then we're about to I take a lot of damage. If he special summons, that's game. Right. That's game. GG, it is what it is. on game two and let's see the squad we have here okay so this is our team right here and we're going against these players so right now our team is in the lead let's see what we're going against in game two since we're repping team Bujin. three okay playing officer trudge I actually don't know any competitive decks that actually uses Trudge, so I don't know what we're going against. From the tough to the super tough. That's the only way I can become a torture Okay, go. we got some plays here. Oh, yeah. I summon a monster. I activate my oh, Rich Crafters. Effect. Been a minute since I've seen the deck. I know it's back in the meta now. But damn. Alright. So depending on when he chooses to activate or she chooses to activate Madame's effect, we could be screwed in and locked down here. Because my initial plan with this hand is to summon the Blackstone Ledge and use his effects, but summon the Red Eyes monster from our deck. So let's see if she's nice enough to let us pull that combo off. 
Yes, no. Mm. All right, the land is pulled at all. So what we want to do here is bring out Red Eyes Heart Screen of Lightning so we have less issues. And just because I have trust issues with this person off the back. We're using the Claw of Hermos. Any complaints? Alright. We ditch in the Keeper of the Shrine. <laughs> Summon the Rats Black Dragon Sword in attack mode. The effects trigger. We equip it to our Archfiend of Lightning. Unless they want to cancel this effect. Okay, so we just got a free monster on the board then. In that case. And let's see if this will get to go through or not. So my damn effect activate. 1,000, 2,000. Nope. Okay. So we're just gonna pass the turn on that then. See what's he gonna do? And sorry if this is extra guy. I just read the name as Bree, so that's the only reason I'm saying she when I say your name. I know that's a synchro summon, but I'm just like, unless he has the retractor card to bring that back, to me that's a misplay. Some keeper in defense. GG. Red eyes arch. Red eyes arch feed the lightning. Light them up from my hand. Activate the second claw of promos. Bye keeper. And that's okay. game. I I activate my monster's effect. GG. It's all and that's why Slash is not my wing condition. Archfiend of Lightning is. This will not go on. I wish I could give you your prompts, but I cannot say that name. You bail. This will be complicated, because I already know we're going most likely against a Fire King deck. I'll take on everyone from the tough to the super tough. That's the okay. only way I can become a Let's go. You shall I think I know what sort of play is here, but we will end up with the same result as last time. So I will hold off on the slash and just block with Kite Roy. Yep, now you get Terra Incarnate. Yeah, and now Slash is definitely not the play. So I know what we're going to do here. And I kind of know the strat. So, like I said, normally we would have went for Slash. But because of Terra Incarnate being a huge issue and a threat to the deck, we will not go for Slash. Uh, let me read Baby's effect real quick.
Okay, from deck. So yeah, we're gonna set the slash, activate Red Eyes Insight. We're gonna ditch the Wyvern, just in case. And then we're gonna add Red Eyes Insight just also in case as well. And then instead of going in, we're passing the turn. So he's popping something else in his hand, most likely. Yeah, he's popping the Phoenix to get the rest of the combo set up. I would have thrown out Archfiend of Lightning, but because that was the play. But like I said, this thing is going to get the popping. So bringing up the LG. And you get to popping again. Oof. The turn Carnage upgrading now. Uh, okay, so the only thing I can think of, even though it's not ideal, is to go ahead and go into Slash. I activate the spell card, Red Eyes Fusion! I fusion summon my monster! Joining me is... Activate the effect. And the only reason I'm saying this is not ideal is because even if we destroy this, his next standby phase, he's gonna get to bring that back. And on top of that, but since it's not a targeting effect, Slash does not get to negate that. So Slash is kind of pointless, but we will still have a body on field at least. Sorry everyone, my mind is just like, wait, what? Okay, now it's like 50-50 if we win here, because I am confused, like, completely on what happened there. I'm pretty sure it was either one of the cards negating, well, wiping the field for them. Like, I'm just confused how come my monster was safe. And once again, Terra Incarnate's abort wiping effects, so we're screwed because of how it works. We're gonna bring out baby for this. Red eyes. I end my turn. Here I go. It's my turn. I draw. My monster's effect activates. Watch. My monster's effect activates. From my hand, I activate a field spell. So now he gets going to the next form. Terror 
Yeah, yeah, final form. Now you can literally just attack into slash. And since we lost our grip card, Slash is destroyed. Ashley is not. Now's my chance. I activate my monster's effect. My monster's effect activates. Ah, didn't know you couldn't get Cat Roy. The story still haven't changed, guy. That ain't gonna work. I activate my monster's effect. I end my turn. Ah, it's my turn. I draw. Hmm. Yep. Now that's game. Cause there's nothing we can do here. From my hand, I activate a spell. Cause, because how Red Eye Sword works. We have no choice but to equip it this to one of their monsters. And I'm just doing it because I know it's the game. I'm not giving up. I end my turn. But hey, it is what it is. Alright, but Anyway, this video is kind of way too long, but I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I'll see y'all in the next one, which should be Monday. We're probably going to do our first video of Match the Gathering, so I hope y'all look forward to that. Anyway, I'm out, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.